Once upon a time, in a small town called Jude, there was a little church that had a big problem. This church was known for having the most unpredictable Sunday school sessions ever recorded in history. Every Sunday, the congregation was never sure if they'd learn about David and Goliath in an epic WWE-style wrestling match or if Moses would part the Red Sea while on a surfboard. The children loved it, but some of the parents were less than thrilled. Meet Pastor Tom, a middle-aged, well-meaning but slightly scatterbrained man with an unfathomable love for flannel graph presentations and a misguided confidence in his ignorance of modern technology. With his trusty assistant, Mary, who tried valiantly to keep both theological lessons and technological chaos under control, they aim to teach Bible stories in, let's just say, an innovative way. One fine Sunday, Pastor Tom decided to teach the story of Noah's Arkansas. He thought it would be fantastic to recreate the Great Flood right in the classroom with a live-action demonstration. So, armed with a garden hose, a wave machine from a local pool store, and perhaps a tad too much enthusiasm, he transformed the Sunday school basement into a haphazard water park. The children were delighted, squealing as they fled from Pastor Noah, Tom in his raincoat and yellow rubber boots, trying to corral them onto a life raft, which was actually an oversized inflatable duck. That day, the kids truly understood what it might have felt like during those 40 days and nights. The parents, on the other hand, were not as pleased to retrieve their wet, bedraggled offspring. But Pastor Tom was undeterred. He simply explained, it's like Jesus said, the water I give will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Surprisingly, some parents found it spiritually enlightening, while others simply hoped the next lesson wouldn't include a bushfire when talking about Moses. Thus, the Church of Jude continued with its creatively chaotic Bible teachings, where no lesson was ever the same and neither were the complaints.